Have you ever come across a plant that seems to shy away from touch? It is called the sensitive plant, also known as the humble plant or mimosa pudica. Welcome to this episode where we are going to be talking about the different things that identify this plant. But before we do that, let's mention briefly the benefits of this interesting plant. The fact that this plant shies away from touch doesn't mean that it lacks importance. On the contrary, it has been used for long in treatment of various diseases such as skin diseases, insect bites, diabetes, cancer, asthma, difficult menses, dysentery, ulcers, snake bites, insomnia, Oh my God, the list is really long. It is known to have antibiotic properties. It helps to remove toxins from the body. It's anti-asthmatic, antidepressant, it's a tonic, antifungal, antimicrobial, and so on. So this humble plant has very many benefits. But how do we identify it? The leaves of the sensitive plant are one of its most distinctive features. They respond to touch by quickly closing up, almost as if the plant is retreating from touch. And this behavior is a defining trait for the sensitive plant and it sets it apart from other garden plants. These leaves are composed of numerous small leaflets, making the leaf have a fan-like appearance. And each leaf is structured with a row of tiny leaves which are arranged symmetrically along the stem. The leaves are generally green with a touch of purple, but under conditions like hot weather, stress or maturity, the leaves can turn on the purple color. In addition to its distinctive leaves, the humble plant also produces very nice pink flowers and these flowers add color to the overall appearance of green of purple and then pink and it's for this reason that pollinators are attracted to this plant when handling this plant you have to be very careful and you have to put on gloves because this plant has thorns along its stems so if you do not handle it with care you'll be pricked the seeds of this plant develop from flowers, of course, and they are green when they are young, but as they grow up, they turn into purple before they dry out to take on the brown color. Compared to how the plant grows, it has a very small root system, but the whole plant from the roots, the stem, the leaves, the flower, everything is medicinal and it is usable. There are different ways of using this plant. This depends on the reason that you would want to use it. Is it for to cure? Is it preventative? And if it's to cure, what disease? So I encourage you to make your research and find out how best you can utilize this plant to improve your overall health. Until we meet in the next video, stay healthy and God bless you.